Okay, everybody, this is Mooney Dashcam. Today we are in Corona, Queens, and we're talking about the murder and disembowelment, the unsolved murder of Jose Gonzalez, a 35 year old Ecuadorian immigrant who was killed in his own apartment. All right, let's flip this around and get into it. All right, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Mooney Dashcam. I post in there every single day. And please leave suggestions for future videos in the comments. I very much appreciate that. And also, um, turn the notification bell on for when I post videos so you can see them right when they come out. All right, let's get into it. I did not mention that this is a very recent murder. It happened less than a month ago. It happened on May 31st, 2022. So this is super, super recent. Like I said, it's unsolved. They did not find the killer yet. All right, let's rewind a little bit. The address that we're going to is 100-2440th Road the fourth floor of the apartment uh, building in Corona, Queens. So the apartment that he was living in wasn't a regular apartment. It was like people renting out rooms and then they shared like common spaces. Well, I guess it's pretty common. Uh, they shared like the bathroom and the kitchen and then individual people would rent out the rooms. So he had a new roommate, a guy, Jose Gonzalez, new roommate and they liked to drink together get off work, you have a few drinks. Apparently they would get a little bit out of hand, but that's none of my business. So the neighbor said the block was very quiet. Besides for that one apartment. They like to drink, especially when they drank, it was a little, they got a little rowdy and there was always people in and out. I guess since a bunch of different people had rooms in that apartment, when they would invite people over, it was a lot of commotion on the block. Like I said, he was an Ecuadorian immigrant who spent 13 years here, worked construction, and he worked in the restaurant business. That's what his niece said. She also said that he would send money to his 17-year-old son back in Ecuador, and he was the only family that the niece had in the U.S. Dealing with some traffic here today. It is 5 o'clock on a Monday. One roommate walked past the room and said they saw a red liquid coming out from under the door. But they just assumed that the roommates got a little bit rowdy, like they always do apparently when they drink, and thought it was some spilled alcohol. Didn't pay attention to it, didn't think anything of it. And then later walked by the room again and the liquid was cleaned up. Later figuring out what actually happened, they assumed that the killer went back and cleaned up his mess. So Jose was last seen alive Sunday at 3 p.m. Now, fast forward to a couple days later. It's now Tuesday, May 31st, 2022 at 6 p.m. when his neighbor slash landlord enters the apartment to collect rent. He finds Jose face down on the bed covered in dried blood. He doesn't touch Jose most people probably wouldn't, calls the police. The police come. Oh, wow, nice little gridlock here. You guys got to see the traffic rush hours like in uh, Corona, Queens. All right, we'll make the turn eventually. We'll get there. And you got a guy crossing the street. That's, that's about a minute spent at one intersection. So calls the police. The police come and flip over the body to reveal how horribly he was stabbed. The police assumed it was an alcohol-fueled fight between the roommates. For what reason, they don't know. But he was stabbed many times in the neck, shoulder, arms, and stomach. He was stabbed so badly and so deep that his intestines were actually hanging out. The police determined that it was a homicide. They are currently looking for the roommate. I didn't blow the light, it's a yellow. Don't, don't yell at me. They're currently looking for the roommate. There is a $2,500 reward for tips leading to his arrest or conviction. We are right around the block from where this apartment is. All right, we'll have to honk. Someone's getting their car. What are we doing here? Have a little decency for people. 
around this corner, and this is going to be where it is. It's this apartment building to the left, that brick one on the corner closer to us. I was down this block before. I don't think there's anywhere to put this truck. Right here. Talked up enough for my liking. So this is the apartment building right here. I'll show you one of the crime scene photos of 1024 with that door open, that door right there, with crime scene tape. And then it was the fourth floor, which would be, I guess, the top floor in this building. You have first, second, third, fourth. So probably that balcony up there is the fourth floor. Crazy, and you can tell it is a pretty quiet block. People are getting home from school or work right now. It's really about all that's going on here. Say hi to the truck, of course, across the street. The daycare here. Oh my God, happened right across the street from a daycare. Right there. So right up there is where this guy was stabbed so much that his intestines were hanging out. Horrible thing to think about over some stupid drunk brawl. But we don't really fully know why yet because the guy was never caught. So we have no clue. Don't pay attention to my rust. We have no clue what really went on. But it is a terrible story. You guys think I need a car wash? I think so. We have to wait, we don't want to get hit by a car. All right, I guess we don't have to wait. Oh, there's someone over here too. I'm blocking up the whole road. So I guess all I can really say to end this video off is if you have any um, information that would lead to the arrest of this person, that did this, if you have any knowledge at all, um, call it in and report it. It's an unsolved case that happened less than a month ago. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, I kind of hope you didn't, but we all know that already. I will see you all in 